Hey, welcome back to more Mother 3. In the last episode, we had a little bit of tragedy. And in this episode, dear Flint slash Steve flashes back to the last time he saw her alive when she left to take the kids off to the mountains. It's really heavy. Probably would have scared the American audience, the little, chil the little, the little children we own, or Game Boy owners, and made them cry. You know, mothers have never figured this heavily into the plot of a mother game up till now. And there goes Inawa slash Eric off to heaven. Alright, now who's up for playing some happy video games? I know I'm not. So let's play this one. Oh, poop! Drop something. And I don't see it on the floor. There it is. Alright. And this is not entertaining. No one's ever been thrown into Tasmili's jail before. We just built it for shits and giggles. You have the honor of being the first. Steve, you gave Ollie and Abbott a real walloping. But they're all right now. Ollie and Abbott? Like... Bud Abbott and Luke Costello and Ollie... Ah, oh, crap, my brain just suddenly got... Oliver... Oh, the fat one and the skinny one. Oliver... This is another fine mess you've got. This is Stanley. Stan and Ollie. Well, it's, it's escaping me. About Aerith, I can only offer my deepest condolences. She was hot. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures, as everyone keeps pointing out. Take it easy in here for a while. Sleep it off, drunky. I know you must be having a hard time, but try to get some sleep. The Drago fang that was stuck in her chest, I'll hold on to it. Uh, the fang, not her chest. When you get out of here, come by my house and get it. Don't forget. Eric. Yay! We are free to explore our cell. Dad, it's me, Ninten. I told Ness to come too, but he's been crying at Mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but the core. The core might be too hard to eat, but make sure you eat it. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong even Dragos won't stand a chance. Dad, I... And he leaves. Eat the apple. Well, seeing as it's our only option in the cell, dirt. There was a nail file. Yay! Yes! Yay! My nail file broke. Steve. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Eric was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Eric's burial ended without incident. Ness has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's going to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. No. Don't worry about it, I'm just about to go crud plumb crazy for the next few years and just keep looking for my son and looking for revenge. And become utterly irrelevant to the plot of the game, but then show up again at the last few minutes to... Oh wait, never mind, I'm rambling to myself. It's a cowboy thing. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh yeah, great. Nippolite. I'll decide on a voice for Nippolite later. Ah, oh, why not? It's a top-notch grave, it is. There we go, we'll go with the old Peter Laurie. 
Oh my god, what the hell are you? You look frightening. Steve, Aerith was always so kind to my wife. I wish I could say more for you, but I have never been at such a loss for words. Hello, Mr. Steve! Did you can go off somewhere? When's he coming back? Tomorrow? Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while, but I rushed straight here after I heard about Aerith. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. That was me. Say, come to think of it, where's Ninten? He's not with you. He said he was coming back to see you, but he never came back. Miss? Do you know anything about where Ninten went? Wait, I'm switching accents. No. Miss? It's not good to... There we go. The Hokage... Yes. <coughs> wrong voice. I was using my wrong voice. I need my Hokage from abridged Yugi... Abridged Naruto voice. Well, the approximation of. I'm not ripping it off directly. Yes! It's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Nenten went off to... After that detestable Drago to try to... No! No! He didn't take Dad's homemade knife to go to the mountains and try to kill the Drago? Ah! Well, your boy sucks at secrets. Anyway, it's a good thing you raised him to be honest, Steve. Does Ninja honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Ness, why didn't you stop him? Well, I said I wanted to go too, but he said no, he was going alone. So you just let him go! <laughs> you fool! You are the worst ninjas ever! Look at him run. Pathetic. Maybe that was a little too harsh of me. Steve, it sounds like Ninten is headed into the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. <coughs> Sorry, heart of the voice. We're going to need proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight the Dragos with, then hurry to my place. You remember where I live? If you don't, I have maps and yada yada yada. Alright. Uh E, where's Dintin near? Oh, Steve. I was just trying to remember what sunflowers symbolize. Because Aerith really loved them. They symbolize sunflowers. <laughs> 